Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond back again. Today with some very shocking results. And by the way, if you're new here, this is me going from a former adult BBW model down to a keto cutie. Uh, somewhere in the middle of that journey right now. And uh, again, I've got some shocking results to show you. So I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday that was apparently perfectly keto friendly. And I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. If you love me, if you enjoy my videos, please thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to ring the bell and all that good YouTube jazz because it helps my channel grow. And check the description for all kinds of cool goodies. Um, my website um, where I've got a full foods list, a beginner's guide, all kinds of things that might you might find helpful in keto. And there's a lot there. Wrote and designed myself. Go enjoy it. And it's called KetoDiamond.com. That link's down in the description. You can even get you a Keto Cutie t-shirt down in the description and find all kinds of stuff. So anyway, check that out. You can contact me too if you need my help with Keto. But, but finally, let me shut up, show you some before and afters, and then you can see everything. <laughs> Baconator of the day, guys. There's a beef patty underneath that cheese, melted some mayonnaise, some uh, two slices of bacon, two pieces of uh, meat, and it's Baconator time at 2 p.m. I'm having my next Baconator, two beef patties, one slice of cheese, and two slices of bacon, and a smiling, happy, jumpy, very wet soap baby that's blurry. Why are you blurry? Why are you blurry? Oh, there you are. No, you can't have it. <laughs> Girl, I love you. I love you. You can have it. <laughs> oh, somebody's getting mad. Gotta have one of these, y'all. I'm gonna have one of these, y'all. Okay, guys, so it's 10 p.m. I'm having my third Baconator for the day. Probably not the smartest thing in the world, but I am curious to see if calories are gonna count or if it's the food itself, what we eat. So as soon as this cools down, I'm gonna eat it. We gonna find out. I did not show y'all one handful of pork rinds that I got out. Um, but I'm <laughs> these are my calories and macros 2690 calories 8 grams of carbohydrates 231 grams of fat 143 grams of protein We'll see how this looks in the morning on that scale, but it's a little scary right now Did y'all see that? I just wanted to see what I could eat or how much I could eat and not gain so now again if I do high calories it has to be perfect. I mean, if I was to so much as eat one single solitary french fry yesterday, pretty sure I'd have stored all that as fat. Um, if I had done anything not keto friendly, pretty sure that would have been stored as fat. And for me, if I had even drunk a Diet Pepsi, that probably would have been stored as fat. However, since it was a perfectly on point keto day for me, I did nothing wrong. My weight did this. Let me show you. And actually, there's a couple to show you. Um, <laughs> because I got very poor sleep. So let me show you my sleep. Then I'll show you the scale twice because I went back to sleep, woke up even lighter. Check this out. Mittens. Why? Why the scale? Huh? Why? <laughs> oh, miss. That is awesome, y'all. Did you see that picture? I know that if you're new here, you don't know what none of that means. Yesterday, guys, I was 184.6, which was a new low for me. Today, I weighed in at 183.8. That's 0 0.8 pounds down from yesterday. 0 0.8 down new low uh, <laughs> and I'm officially 128 pounds down overall I love it I love it I love it I love it um, it took me y'all know I've been doing this for a long time and it, it took me a while to really figure out where my groove was well the reason I'm doing those baconators is because apparently beef bacon cheese and mayonnaise is my sweet spot. It's where I lose weight at. It's what I can eat and not have any trouble with. Um, so your sweet spot might not be that. 
you might be able to have a whole lot more and lose well. And a lot of you can have vegetables. Vegetables bloat me. They hurt my stomach. I don't feel good when I eat them. However, that does mean I definitely need to be on magnesium supplements because you're going to get a lot of magnesium from your vegetables. If you're not eating them, you're not getting it. You need 500 milligrams at least a day in your body. And taking 500 milligram supplements doesn't necessarily help because your body only generally absorbs between 5 and 25% of magnesium. So that's why I put that one down in the description below because it's supposed to uh, cross the blood brain barrier and be a much better form of magnesium for you. So check the description below if you want to get some good magnesium and look into it. Um, I am going to get that here pretty soon, hopefully. And, and potassium, most people should be on potassium anyway because you're not going to get a whole lot. But please, whatever you do, guys, do not take 4,700 milligrams of potassium. There is a whole lot more potassium in meat than you realize. Meat has a good potassium content in it. You know, doctors like, oh, eat a banana for some potassium. But steak has more potassium in it. Things that make you go, hmm. Anyway. So I'm very thrilled. 128 pounds down. Now, I might not be able to eat like that every day, and I'm probably not going to attempt it. Um, but I did get hungry last night. There is a downside. Today, I woke up hungry. Could, could be from a lack of sleep, too. Because I went to sleep at <laughs> too late, about 2.30, I think. Somewhere in there, anyway. And um, at like 7 o'clock, my dog was in my face grunting to go out. So I have to call my dad. Where's the other dog? Because they can't go out at the same time. They had to get him in. Then I had to let my dog out. And then, when I finally got back to sleep, I laid down for three hours, but I slept maybe another hour in my fitness. My Fitbit didn't seem to register that other hour, so apparently it was probably pretty restless. But, but, I got maybe four and a half hours of sleep last night. Functionable, but sucks, you know? It's going to be a hot, gooey day in North Carolina, and I got a lot to do. Um, so we have decided that we are going to Greensboro this weekend. Well, I say Greensboro, but it's actually Reedsville. Um, I was born and raised in Greensboro with my brother and sister. However, um, as time went on, my parents moved to Woodleaf because my grandfather, well, they moved to Mount Ola, which is close to Woodleaf, because my grandfather lived down here and he was getting elderly. So we moved down here with my parents when I was younger. My brother and sister stayed up towards Greensboro, but Reedsville and Burlington, so both on the other side of Greensboro. Anyway, my great nephew, I don't know what that kid's up to out here. Corey's in there with him. Hold on. Hey. Hey. What do you want to say? Like and subscribe. Yeah, y'all can hit like and hit subscribe. This little boy and me and his other great grandma, my mom, are going to um, go to somewhere I like. Somewhere you like. Where do you like? Beyblades. We're gonna go to Walmart and get him a couple of Beyblades. I'm getting ready to explain that now. You mean Twenty-nine Beyblades? No, not twenty-nine Beyblades. You gotta get down, dude. You're heavy. <laughs> He's got his feet on the sink. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hello. Ah, yeah. I don't think I hit the button. <laughs> Being a grandma is hard work, y'all. So anyway, what I was about to explain is I was talking about yesterday how it would be a strain on the gas and, and the, the financial situation. But I have all these um, piggy banks. I always put change in piggy banks, and I had one that was nothing but pennies, and I let my grandson Zach have it, and he keeps raiding on my other piggy banks. So I had one with quarters and dollars in it, and I had one with just nickels and dimes in it. So <laughs> he kept raiding my piggy bank, putting all of it in one bank. And I told him he could have it, I didn't care, but I told him, I said, look, we need to use this money. It would be the smartest thing to do because it's money just laying around. And um, because I gave it to you, we'll go out and get a Beyblade. Well, my mom is going to go buy him a Beyblade anyway. So I'm spending five dollars of that money on him, and my mom's going to get another one on him too. And plus, I got to feed him, so you know he's going to get money. <laughs> plus, Saturday he's going to get to go bowling, have cake, and and um, pizza. So it'll benefit him. Um, and that takes a lot of the financial burden off of me because I really couldn't afford to spend the extra gas, even just twenty extra dollars. I couldn't afford it right now. So that does help greatly. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do about the eating thing. I do intend to stay keto. But like I said, I haven't fared too well at parties and stuff. So I don't want to lie to y'all or put out a fake front. Um, there have been many times I intended to stay keto and did not. Um, we'll see how that goes. I want to. I intend to. Will I? You'll find out Saturday or Sunday. I'll tell you about what I ate on Saturday or Sunday. Anyway. 
Saturday's video, it might also be late because of that. Because uh, we'll probably leave pretty early in the day. I haven't seen my brother and sister since... I haven't seen my sister in over a year. I haven't seen my brother in about six or seven months. So, I'd like to see them and their families and their kids and their grandkids. Um, we're going to go. <laughs> I dread that damn trip. I got to tell y'all, I don't like to travel. What you doing? You want your Beyblades? You better go in there and behave yourself for a few more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. Okay. Thank you. Shut the door. <laughs> All the way. I did. You did not. It didn't click. See? And you opened it back. <sighs> oh, this little jerk. <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you something. Let me show you something cool. No, 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 let me show you something cool. Show you how to lock the door. <laughs> He knows how to unlock it. All you gotta do is stick a thumbnail in there and turn it, but he don't have one, so might give me a few seconds. Anyway, guys and dolls, if you need my help on keto, please let me know below or send me an email or add me on Facebook. Everything's in the description. I also have a Facebook page or group that you can join if you want to get a little extra stuff here and there. All I really do is, if something comes to mind, if I post a new article on the website, I put it there too, along with my videos on every day. And, of course, you're pl please, you're more than welcome to show me your results and uh, ask questions or anything over there on its Keto Diamond. It's just a Facebook group. <sighs> I also have a page, but I don't use that very much. I have a lot. <laughs> I think I spread out way too much. Um, anyway, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Keto.Diamond. <laughs> you got it, didn't you? Yeah. All right, guys and dolls, so much love to you. Bye. Bye. So we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. No. <laughs> you gotta let me no. Life is hard around here. <laughs>